Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another edition of Cooking from Scratch. I'm Fabio. Today we're going to be preparing a delicious fried, everyone's favorite, fried calamari. Okay guys? Um, and honestly, stay tuned to a, I'm going to be doing another segment uh, on grilled calamari. So again, for the more health conscious individual out there, we're also going to be doing, we're going to be doing another segment on grilled calamari. So stay tuned for that one. But for today, we're going to be looking at some beautifully fried calamari. And what I have here, okay, just again, simple ingredients. I have some uh, calamari that I've uh, cleaned. I've removed um, all of the um, sort of the, the inner sort of portions of the calamari, clean them out nicely. I also have portions of the tentacle here, okay? And then I've also got in here, I've got just a little bit of buttermilk, which I, I've had the calamari soaking in, all right? Um, and then uh, over here, guys, I've got some flour, salt and pepper for dredging, okay? This is what we're gonna be using, basically. Simple ingredients, all right? Just uh, in, uh, in preparation of our frying. So. Without further ado, let's get into it. We've got our oil here as well, all right? Oil is set right now at about 360 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? And I've got that on my induction cooker. Okay, so I'm gonna bring over my, my flour and I'm gonna be placing in my pieces of calamari. Actually, maybe I should use my tongs here, but hey, never excusing the best tools in the kitchen, and that, of course, is your hands. But I wanna keep my hands clean in this case here. So I'm, I'm gonna just remove them from the buttermilk and into our, our dredge or our flour here. And I'm gonna show you how easy this is to put together. And then of course, we're gonna fry these up in our oil, season them lightly, okay? And then get them into our plate. That's how quick and easy this is. We're gonna actually be serving this up with a, um, with a freshly prepared garlic aioli. Um, now, you can serve this up, guys, uh, many ways. I've seen it done with a classic marinara, okay, marinara. So, all right, placing in my calamari, okay, into our dredge, just making sure that we're not leaving anything behind here. All right, place this off to the side, and then just coating our calamari with our flour. And again, my flour was pre-seasoned with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Just making sure. And I've got a sifter nearby here, so I'll show you what we're gonna do with our sifter in just a quick second. Actually, let me get my hands right in there. Nothing, like I said, nothing better than the, the texture or the feel of your hand, just to make sure that everything is well coated. And if a little bit of flour goes flying around, hey, you know what? No big deal. We'll clean it up later. All right. So, let me bring this over to our strainer here. Just making sure that we want to sort of dust off any excess of flour here, our dredge. Okay. Just making sure that all of the flour is down at the bottom and our calamari is left up on top. And we're ready to go to the oil. All right, so come on back. All right, so we're ready for frying. Okay, our calamari have all been uh, incorporated with the flour. So let's get to the fryer. So I'm gonna just slowly start dropping in the calamari. All right. Again, my oil is about 350, 360 degrees. And you can instantly hear that sizzle, beautiful. But I'm not gonna bombard my oil with too much at one time. All right, so just making sure, add a little bit. And then, so drop those in. Then, go to here to our bowl, okay? Grab, once again, our trusted spider. And just allow these to crisp up beautifully. All right, we're back. All right, so we fried up our calamari beautifully crisp. You can see that. Okay, they got a nice little crunch to it. You can see that nice little sort of outer crust. Just flour, salt, and pepper. Okay, guys, believe it or not. All right, so we're going to be serving up a delicious aioli, fresh little aioli with, uh, with these beautiful calamari here. Aioli, guys, all right, just a fancy term there for a little bit of uh, mayonnaise, some garlic, lemon juice. So I got my one garlic clove in there minced. To this, I'm going to be adding 
the juice of half a lemon. All right, just like so. Okay, place this aside. And a little bit of salt and pepper. That's it. That's your aioli right there. So a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, just like so, and then give a mix. That's it. Just making sure that the lemon juice and the mayonnaise come together. A little garlic aioli. So mix that all in. Let's have a taste. Wonderful. All right, so I'm gonna transfer this over to another clean ramekin here in preparation for serving. All right, just like that. Beautiful. This can go into our plate. And then let's just go over to the plating here. So we're gonna bring our calamari, just using my hands here. All right, beautiful plate. Tentacles and all. Just making sure. And then we're gonna dress our plates with a little bit of fresh lemon wedges. Okay, for those that want a little additional citrus on there. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Okay, let's get some of those tentacles up on top. Wow, my mouth is salivating here. I don't wanna move them around too much, but beautiful, just like that. And then taking our lemon, and just fixing it around the plate, just like so. All right, that looks wonderful. Okay, guys, and, oops, a little bit of garnish up on top with some fresh parsley. And guys, you have it. There you have some beautiful, all right. So there you have it, everyone, a beautiful fried calamari with a beautiful, fresh garlic aioli. Uh, just want to say thank you to everybody for joining us here as always. Uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. All right, guys. And as always, feed your passion. Keep on cooking. We'll see you on the next one.